Hey guys. I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. <laughs> that was like Donnie from the Wild Thornberries yeah. is Lil Wayne. But like um when he was like it's supposed to be good. It's supposed to be good. Crisp- I think that's Bill Cosby. Crispy. <laughs> Is What's he say? Crispy? Is a pussy crispy? I hope not, but you never know. <laughs> Could be. No, when he was like, uh, in Lollipop, it's very much like, <laughs> Is it not? Yeah. <laughs> is, just call, is that the call me a decky? Call me a good just fight. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Got me. I can just wow. What's, What's up, up, everyone? Happy Hello. spoopy season. It's spooky. Ooh. And the pop me up spooky night, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I've already had two glasses of wine. Oh, you lucky bitch. I know. And instead, I'm I drinking was- for two. <laughs> Said, I'm like, do you want to know how my evening was? Yeah. I had an appetizer, entree, and dessert. Hey. Really, and then Corey stopped at a gas station. He was like, do you want anything? And I was like, a Twix bar. And he was <laughs> like, are you kidding? Right or left? Oh, uh, left. Really? I didn't pick it. He did. It's just what I got blessed with. Does it say on the package? Uh huh. Oh, that's stupid. What? They're what? really taking that far. Aren't where they? would it? They, where would it say that? Well, don't they give you two in each packet? So isn't there always a right and a left? No. The package says either left or right. Do you only get a singular Twix? No, you get... I got four. He got me kisses. <laughs> so they're all lefts? They're all lefts. I'm imagining them like shoes. <laughs> no, they all look the same. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's the joke. Well, it's not funny. No, I don't think so either. And you're taking it too far. Yeah, Twix. Twix. It's like, we get it. Enough. Find, Find a new thing. Gimmick. Yeah. God. <laughs> what do you want us to do? We will market your candy bars. Yes. In a better way. What would you like us to do? Mm, Twix. Put it in my bum. <laughs> Put it in my. Oh, <laughs> oh that was a. What song was that? Put it in my. That was Chip the Ripper. Chip the Ripper. Ripper. Uh, yeah, I heard he's into QAnon now, so I can't. Oh, I can't support no, him. Oh, no. I can't support him anymore. Oh. I know. It was upsetting when I found out. Fuck. Mm-hmm. That's upsetting. It's like they're getting everybody out here. <laughs> this is so sad. Damn. Now I can't ever have ass cheeks on my white tee anymore. <laughs> Never again. Separate the art from the artist. You know? I you can. Got to. I can. Not with that. No. It's insanity. <sighs> um. So we're so we're in costume. <laughs> oh, yeah, we don't always look like this. My sister is having a costume party tomorrow. She's having a murder mystery party in her I've, Victorian mansion house. Oh, if you to guys, one of those. if you guys uh, are exclusive members, you met her. Sam yeah. was on the last uh, exclusive episode. That we, we should did. real quick tell people how to sign up for the exclusive. Oh, on yeah. here so yeah. that we stop getting messages. Yeah. So um, if you are an Apple. There phone. is a link on our Instagram. If there you go is. to our Instagram, we have a link tree, and there is a link where you can just click to go to um, the audio membership. So do that for sure for audio. There's also a link for the visual membership, but if you're an Apple user... You have to do it on a desktop. Yeah. So just do it on a some kind of whatever. You go to YouTube, and you click memberships, and then you can click join, but it won't, it doesn't show up on mobile versions of Apple products for some fucking reason. Yeah. But it, then when you join, you can get on your phone, correct, and look at the community yeah. tab. Yep. Right? Yep. And it, all of them will be under there. So there yeah, you go. All the bonus. Sorry. All the exclusive apps. Go apps. on. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. My sister's having um, her 29th birthday party. 29? 29? 29. Did I tell you I'm rewatching New Girl again for like the 50th time? No, oh, I love that show so much. I'm in a New Girl Facebook group mm-hmm. and um, they always like post like moments where character, they, especially Max Greenfield who plays uh-huh. Schmidt, breaks character. And so I had to rewatch it and just like seeing those moments <laughs> in real time is really good. Oh my God, my hat just hit my microphone and I just drooled all over <laughs> myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, it's, it's, oh, also I'm a Wookiee, mm. but this is, well, Jerry's. I didn't say what I was either. Oh, um, well, Shane, her murder mystery party, she assigned everyone a character and you're supposed to come in character. The theme of the murder mystery is 
were all on the set of a movie. And I think she's the director or she's the star. She's the, yeah, star. And she dies. And yeah. so then like we have to figure out who did it. Who done it? Who killed her? Yeah. I have a wedding tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to go until later. So I already know the male devil. Me too, because I just wanted to know. Yeah. I'm not even invited. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to know who it was. <laughs> but Shane's character is Guy Fieri. And yeah. we, because we had this in our house. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, no. She made him Guy Fieri before she knew that we had this visor Shut with this hair. Mouth. And Shane so was it like, "Truly, was fate." Yeah, he was like, "What luck? <laughs> I already have the costume." <laughs> and then Shane's just been really into um, loud pattern shirts recently. I love that. If anyone watches um, the Great British Baking Show, uh, Noel is his style icon, and Noel wears like really loud fashion pieces. Yeah. And so Shane has been starting to collect nice and so i just have his tiger shirt on I right now that. it also gives me very much like winston bird shirt vibes <gasps> yes <laughs> you know what I, mean? <gasps> I love that love a good bird shirt yeah because birds aren't real q anon <laughs> is that what they believe i don't know if that's a q anon specific thing but a conspiracy theory that's going around is that birds aren't real they're actually drones that are here to spy on us I believe it. I, you know what? That's how I get into QAnon. You know what? I got Corey a shirt that said birds aren't real and it's got a bird with binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And then I was like, oh, I can believe it. Oh. But Sierra is a Wookiee. I don't know if you're a Wookiee or if you are Chewbacca. Chewbacca? Yeah, is I don't Chewbacca know. Is Chewbacca a Wookiee? No. Wookiees are small. Do you... I don't know just shit did, about. I was gonna say, do you know anything about Star Wars? I we started to watch it in the very beginning of my pregnancy because Corey wanted me to watch him. Wow, this just like reminds me that we yeah the movies, and um, this just reminds me now that I have completely stopped because then when I found out I was pregnant, he would be like, "Come watch this movie," and I was just hurling through the yeah. entire thing, and I'm like, I don't fucking want to sit through a three hour <laughs> movie right yeah. now that I have to like think about i don't yeah. care so we stopped and have never started again so. i have never if i have watched any of the movies i don't remember they at all that i have enjo- i mean i enjoyed a bit them. enjoyable <laughs> they weren't i'm it's like a bit enjoyable i think not something i would watch on my on my free time yeah here's my problem they've been out for so long i fucking know all the spoilers <laughs> oh. like, there was no surprises i what what is okay I'll tell you, Shane really likes Legos. He's always been super into Legos. Mm-hmm. Um, for the amount of Star Wars memorabilia that we have in our house, we know shockingly <laughs> shit about Star Wars. Like we have this Wookiee onesie. Yeah, we have. He and has so many Star things. Wars. My son Corey, my son's dad, half of my cousins fucking love Star Wars, and I, I don't am just no dick about Star Wars. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we have so. If you went into my bedroom right now, you would see. Darth Vader, yep. <laughs> you would see. He's making, he had, I think it's the Starship Enterprise. I don't know. Maybe it's not. <laughs> it's got, it's got oh, the yeah, real yeah. long, pointy blue guys. Yeah. Like, uh, it looks like Elsa's castle, but Star Wars. <laughs> that was also really confusing because I was sick and had a headache and didn't feel good. And there's so much that's like not real that is made up. And I'm like, I don't fucking have time to learn about fantasy world right now. I don't and know. All these galactic yes. things. I did not enjoy it no just because it was a lot of information shane is a lord of the rings guy and so i already have so much space for lord of the rings and the hobbit that like there is not enough space for another world yeah mine goes harry potter lord of the rings then star wars i I have have lord of the rings marvel i don't even fuck with marvel really and then nothing you don't fuck with harry potter I mean, I've never fucked Harry Potter. <laughs> no, I'm aware. Yeah. I'm aware of Harry Potter. Okay. I know my house. Yeah. We Huffin took that door. <laughs> I'm a Hufflepuff. Okay. <laughs> Griffin Puff. Um, um, well, you want a spoiler from it. Everybody don't from listen. From what? Star Wars. Oh, okay. The biggest one. Is Which Darth is Vader is Luke, Luke Skywalker's, Skywalker's dad. dad. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that, but it's a huge part that's but, like a fucking <gasps> moment it, in the thing. Isn't that also a Mandela effect thing where he doesn't actually say Luke? He doesn't say, Luke, I am your father. No, he just says, I am your father. There's no Luke in it. So who's he, are we sure he's talking to Luke in yeah, that they're moment? They're only the, the only two in the scene. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah. But I'm what sure. if it's a I'm your daddy moment? Like, who's your daddy moment? But like <laughs> Star Wars version. Well, no, because we have to see a whole fucking backstory. And then Yoda. That oh, would be such spoiler, a. Spoiler. Yoda dies. Like, as soon what? as we beat him. 
But then he comes back and the other one, because you have to watch him out of order. It's fucking so confusing. Is there, is he a baby or is the baby not him? No, no. The baby is just like his the Mandalorian type. thing? His type? <laughs> Maybe we don't say that the baby's Yoda's type. <laughs> no, I mean, he's, he's species, I guess. Okay. But I don't think it's specifically Yoda. Okay. But it's just another one of their like very special wise fucking creatures. But they call him I baby like Yoda. Him. I'm not a fan of Yoda. Mm. Sorry. He he kind of gives me that. Again, I only saw him when he was super fucking old and about to die. He gave me real heebie Like I wouldn't want to be in a room alone with Yoda. He was all like, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, he freaks me yeah. out. And I was like, I Ew. feel that. <laughs> Ew, I don't you're talking to riddles <laughs> <laughs> like this at all. I don't trust any of this. No. The baby's fine. Yeah. I heard he ate a frog or something. What? I know there was a big controversy on Facebook because he ate a frog. Who ate a frog? Baby Yoda. Are they frogs? <laughs> Is Yoda a frog? No, I, they're Yodas. No, they're not Yodas. <laughs> That's his name. They are. Fuck, somebody knows. You tell us. Oh. Hmm. Anyway. I genuinely don't care. Yeah, Honestly, not even a little, a little bit. I just feel like we're carrying this on to carry it on, and I no longer want to play. Me neither, because I, I have better things to talk about. Okay. This might be one of my favorite episodes. Oh! <laughs> Guys, it is truly a spooky episode, because when Sierra got here, there was a fucking cat outside of my house. A black, black cat. cat! And it was at the bush, and... I thought it was a skunk or a raccoon. I couldn't tell. Anytime someone's like, there's something in the bush, like, it's pretty big. Don't, <laughs> don't fuck with it. I'm like, I don't want to fuck with it, I think. I'm you ran go. out immediately. I was, like, I was like, let me in your home. And you're like, I'm going out. That's how I ended up with scars on my <laughs> hand. Because someone was like, now this dog is like super aggressive. Doesn't like people. And I'm like, it's going to like me. <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> I, I lost part of my fingers. Yeah. So that's fine. But yeah, it's, I walked outside and I... <laughs> I ate my words very quickly because as soon as I went around the bush, it was like, like, hi, kitty. It went (laughs) and then like darted off and I was like, fucking bye then. Okay. Okay. Rude. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, I think it eats my trash. (laughs) (laughs) Eat my trash, cat. (laughs) I've never heard of cats doing that. I really do. Garbage kitty. He was a fat fat boy. So that wouldn't surprise me. I like that you gave him a theme song. Garbage Garbage kitty. kitty. He's fat as fuck. (laughs) How do you get into that can with that ass? (laughs) I'm just saying. That cat was thicker than a sticker. (laughs) He really was. He couldn't get any quicker. (laughs) <laughs> He's just looking for a Snickers. <laughs> and it was slowing him down. God, we're good at this. I know. <laughs> Twix, do you want to hire us? <laughs> Look at how good we are. We just sold you this fucking show. Yeah, I could have said Twix, but I said I said Snickers. <laughs> oh, so, fuck. Oh, yeah. Well, they're well, not paying us. <laughs> he was thicker than a Snickers. Yeah. It's thicker than a Twix doesn't work. <laughs> Quick. He was quick as a Twix. <laughs> quick as a Twix. Into my mouth because I'm fucking <laughs> lava. <laughs> Ow. Oh my god. Anyway, okay. Ghost stories. This you guys episode have been is a ghost story for this shit for so long. We've wanted to do it for so long. When we did our first ghost stories episode, no one knew about us, so we just had to tell our own, and we didn't do a very good job. No, and so now I, there was so many you guys. I say this every th- single time, but like. We have to make this a series because there there were so many that I was like, I I want to include all of these. Yeah. And how can we get through 130 of these yeah. in one episode? We can't. Yeah. And I didn't even promote it on outside of our fans no. page. And we so, still had so many replies. Yeah. And they're all so good. They're all so good. Yeah. So just know that you're all amazing and your stories are fucking phenomenal. I, I cried. Be... I laughed. Oh I had gosh. goose pimpies. Goosies. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that you called them goose pimpies. <laughs> Ooh, got them goose pimps. <laughs> oh my god, my arm is full of goose pimps. <laughs> um, but I, I will... really weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you ever get like overwhelming urges to do weird things? I wanted to lick this microphone. <laughs> I looked. Did you see me look down at it? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I do get those urges. I do. One time I was walking. For no reason. (laughs) One time I was walking (laughs) through JCPenney's. 
and there was a little kid with a balloon <laughs> and I punched it. <laughs> and he I looked at me like, what? what? And I was like, I don't fucking I know. know. Honestly, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. I did that. I, I'm so sorry. And then I just kept walking. Somebody- I was at least 18 <laughs> years old. I was like, somebody on the internet, please tell me what, what that means. Yeah. Well, I <laughs> diagnosed me. <laughs> Rachel from For Better and Worse Podcast was wa- listening to one of our episodes and she was like dying at the fact that I was doing a British accent because she used to be married to a British guy. Oh, yeah. And she was like, you can tell you're not medicated for your ADHD because Sierra's <laughs> trying to talk and you just keep going, oh, rebel. <laughs> I think it was worse in the world. <laughs> Yeah, it just, she's like, it's just flying out of your mouth. You don't even notice that she's trying to speak to you. <laughs> anyway. That's why I don't even know what you were about to say, and I apologize, because in my head, I was just like, lick it. Lick the fucking <laughs> microphone. Lick it right now. Make eye contact and lick it. See what she says. That's how this entire, that's how this entire episode started, when I just couldn't stop going. <laughs> It's a lollipop. It's just only for you. <laughs> oh my god! It just felt good in my mouth. Yes. I couldn't stop. <laughs> so oh weird. my god. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm we're telling ready. your ghost stories that you sent in. Yes, we're gonna get through as many as we can, as fast as we can. Yeah. Here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you sounded like that cat outside. I told you weird things are happening, That's and fine. I don't know what I'm doing. Bend the bones and break the back. Hippity boppity. <laughs> this is going to be a hard one. Oh my god. I can't wait to not be pregnant anymore. <laughs> I'm so sick of this. It's making me insane. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know how to intro this. You already know what I'm here for. So here it goes. I'm sorry. This That's is- how I start sex. Yep. <laughs> You already know why I'm here, so <laughs> let's just get down to it. <laughs> yep. Get down to brass tacks. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, this is kind of long and detailed. I know it's perfectly written. You're wonderful. So I'm Alexis or Lexi, 25 years old, she, her pronouns. Thank you, Lexi. Yes. So many people did that this time, and I'm like, so I happy. love that. Thank yeah. you so much. Yes. Um, when I was pregnant, we moved into my grand. Sorry. When I was pregnant, we moved into my husband's grandma's house. She left to him after she had passed away. We would occasionally find her hair, of course, and joke about her visit. <laughs> yeah, I love that you thought that was cute, and I, I was like, "Fucking gross." There's <laughs> <laughs> two types of people. There are. I'm like, "Oh, grandma." <laughs> You're like, like ah, "No, grandma." <laughs> because in my head, she's dead, so the hair's dead, and it's just creepy that it's there. I understand. Like, but our, 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 isn't our hair dead already? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> I needed to know that. Mm-hmm. Um, we would joke about her visiting slash saying hi. Flash forward two years later. With her hair? Yeah, like leaving it around for you. <laughs> please, <laughs> don't, please don't leave your hair for me when you're dead. <laughs> Bitch, I'm sorry. You already know when I'm dead that you're going to find my hair so I already everywhere. do. Like, I'm so sorry. Lexi, if this was, if Sierra thinks this is sweet, and I'm sure it's supposed to be sweet. I've just had too much to drink, and I'm like, fuck it, yeah. I have an issue with hair. I was just she saying does. today. She does. Sh- and I feel bad because I leave my hair here, here. <laughs> I leave my hair all over the place. <laughs> I do. And you're it's always mass. like, bitch, I'm out of your hair. And my kids <laughs> ass crack. I do. I have an issue with hair. It makes me super, super unsettled. I don't know if it's like a sensory thing, but like, it. I love the idea of you feeling close to your husband's grandma. Yes. I don't love that it's through her hair. Yes. <laughs> well, okay. it gets different. Okay. Um, <clears throat> last summer, I started noticing my son, who was just over two years old at the time, randomly laughing in his room after bedtime. Well, so some of these we can have laughs for, but a lot of these are going to be kind of spoopy. <laughs> okay. Um, I gave him a flashlight and showed him how to make shadow puppets with it to entertain himself while he laid in bed to help him wind down. It was harmless. He'd get in bed and go to sleep without a fuss, and I could go watch Grays and listen to the baby <laughs> monitor. Love that. So I assumed that he was just giggling about the shadows. Whatever. No big deal. As the next few months went on, he started asking me to clap his feet together while I changed his diaper. Which I've done that with my children. I have like goose pimps. I thought it was weird and totally random, but I did it and he loved it. After a few times, I realized he was wanting me to play patty cake with his feet. I did this when he was a literal baby, like five to six month old, months old. But I didn't figure it was something that he would remember. 
especially to randomly ask me to do one day. So up now we're up to Chris. <laughs> so now we're up to Christmas. He is now two and a half years old. I had asked multiple family members if they had played patty cake with his feet recently. And the ones that had said that it was just when he was a baby. She's trying to figure out, like, yeah. when the fuck did he? Yeah, how my does he kid, know My son about will this. do things like that. And I'm like, where did you f- pick this up yep. at? Mm-hmm. Um, on Christmas Eve, my family comes out to my house. We play games, eat, and open presents at midnight together. Me, my mom, and my brother were sitting around the kitchen table watching my son play, and I brought up the patty cake thing again. So my mom just asked L- Layden, I believe is her son's name, um, who taught him to play patty cake with his feet? And he said, Grandma. So out of curiosity, I said, this grandma or mama, which was my husband's mom. And he just said, no. So at this point, we're all really confused. These were the only two grandmas in his life because my grandma and my husband's grandma had both died before he was born. Mm -hmm. So it hit me. I pulled out photos of my grandma and my husband's (sighs) grandma and showed Layden. (laughs) As I said, we suspect my husband's grandma visit. So if a ghost was playing with my son, I figured he would point to her, but when he pointed to my grandma, who <gasps> passed away when I was maybe 12, I bawled. He had never seen pictures of either grandma before this night. I can't, I know, eee! I know. I can't explain it other than she still visits me and was playing with my son's feet, making him laugh in his bedroom. Aww. I hung up pictures of both of his great grandma shortly after this so he could see them. We've had a few other strange things happen in the house now, but never anything malicious. Maybe I'll remember to send more in if you do an episode like this again. We will. Um, and then there's a lot that she says we don't have to read out loud. I'll read it to you later. But she said, thank you for basically being the sisters I never had. Aww. Lexi. I am like crying right now. Dude, because- I know. <laughs> These are the ones that got me. Um, I got chills from that. I I always get I get chills frequently with stories yeah. like that because I believe I believe mm-hmm. that a hundred percent. And do. something that makes me so sad is like that my that our grandma and like my other grandma never got to meet my kids. Yes. And Thinking although, of them being there and playing with them. Yes. Uh, although I truly believe like they had a part in bringing my kids into the world i was so close with both of them that i i wish they were here yes. terribly yes. and like i wish that i had a moment like that that felt like i had a piece of them or that my son got to experience them yeah. because even as like a child that young they were such valuable people mm-hmm. in my life mm-hmm. oh that's so sweet i know a lot of these got to me there yeah i'm happy about her hair now well it was, <laughs> well, it was the other one's hair yeah her hair's gotta go yeah. okay <laughs> this grandma one is touching his feet one's <laughs> leaving hair no but i love it okay a few years ago this is a different one um let's see who this one is they don't say okay, okay. A few years ago, my grandmother passed away after an 18-year-long battle with ALS. Mm. As part of her funeral service, my sister and I made a video collage of pictures of her throughout her life set to music by her favorite singer, Elvis. A few days after her funeral... (laughs) Sorry. My brain... (laughs) My brain is so trained to make everything sad funny (laughs) that (laughs) I just imagine a montage of grandma photos to hound dog... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Ain't nothing but a hound dog. Oh, I love it. Maybe. Hunk, hunk, burning love. Is that Elvis? I think so, yeah. Okay. A few days after her funeral, my older sister and I were alone in the house when I heard her screaming my name from upstairs. Assuming she wants me to kill a spider for her, which is a regular <laughs> occurrence in our house because apparently I'm the only one willing to squish a bug, <laughs> I walk over to the stairs. My sister is standing at the top of the stairs and silently gestures me to follow her. Ooh, that's so creepy. I have... Go- I'm going to keep calling them goose pimps. Goose uh, pimps. Like up my neck. When we get to her room, I see our dog is puffed up like a scared <gasps> cat and growling at thin air. From the direction he's looking is coming m- the sound of music. I open my laptop and it's turned off. I try to turn it on and the battery is dead. This happened to me! (laughs) And yet, Elvis Presley music continues to play from the speakers. This fucking happened to me, yes. I can't believe I'm so glad that you're wearing (laughs) this is a good episode for you to wear glasses. (laughs) I'm definitely like, what? Yeah, I'm definitely teary. Um we charge the laptop and open the computer to see nothing. When we load the video, it starts playing about halfway through instead of at the beginning. Strangely, at the point in her life when my sister and I were born. 
<laughs> we tried to shut the video down, fast forward to the end, started over, and nothing worked. Once it got to the birth of my little sister, the music ended and the computer completely shut off. At the same moment, <laughs> my dog stopped, stops growling and curls up for a nap. <laughs> He's just like, the threat's gone. Good night. Yeah. My sister thinks it was a coincidence, but I'm convinced no. our grandma stopped by to tell yes. us she's okay and yes. is watching over us. I can tell you if the, if you have not listened to, I, I don't know if I went into detail in the go, in the first ghost stories episode. That's the problem. I was gonna re, re, re listen because I'm like I don't want to retell a yeah. story that I told. But anyways, um, if you haven't listened to that one, I this happened to me. Mm-hmm. I had a cell phone um, mm-hmm. that was shut off like the screen was no longer working it was no longer functional and so i threw it in a drawer because i got a new mm-hmm. phone because mm-hmm. you know like when you upgrade your phone like you sometimes used to keep the old one yeah oh god I still so do that. I'm i like why yeah well sometimes if your phone breaks and like yeah. you just go to the other one anyway so i tossed it in my drawer and so i had my functional working phone that my number was connected to there should have been nothing connected to the other phone uh-huh and it had been in the drawer for two weeks. So even if I had left it on, I it could, would definitely be dead for by sure. Then. And I couldn't tell if it was on when I put it in the drawer because, again, the screen was like broken. So it was totally black. Right. Um, <clears throat> but if it had been left on, there was no way the battery would have lasted two weeks. Right. So there's no number connected to it. And it's definitely dead. Mm-hmm. And it started ringing like it was getting a phone call <gasps> until I got to it. And then it stopped. It happened one more time. And then I was sitting in my room with like three other people and my iHome that, for those of you who are are younger, (laughs) he used to have a a radio. It was like a speaker, basically. Yeah, that you put your iPod onto Mm -hmm. and then it could play. Um, Anyway, it was not plugged in and it didn't have batteries and it started going off like it was like an alarm was set (laughs) on it. And that's when I met my friend Reggie. Yes. And he told me that my grandma was trying to get my attention through my electronics. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Oh, that made my uterus clench up. Mm -hmm. And I think I mentioned in the other time that I told it that that was about the time that I was in my abusive relationship Mm -hmm. and was going to be leaving college to go move in with him. Yep. And he was like... like Yo, mm-hmm. bitch, no. Yeah. He's like, your grandma is uh, wanting you to know that you're making some really bad decisions <sighs> right now and wants to, like, snap you out of it. Good looks, grandma. Essentially, yeah. Goodness. I remember <laughs> the guy that I was dating was at the dorm with me <clears throat> one time <laughs> when Reggie was in my room. And I was, Reggie had told me that whenever he sees people he can see a line connecting yeah. them it was like a red line that would go straight to them and i was like oh my gosh so do what do you line? see with us like how's our future look and he's like you guys are a couple <laughs> <laughs> he was like no he was it's like, that you're dating right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah he was like dancing around the fact that he knew like i knew what he was saying like, yeah. i could read between the lines that he was like no fucking no. way in hell. get the fuck out of this yeah, yeah yeah sever that cord <laughs> as fast as you possibly fucking can <laughs> for sure that's hilarious anyway that that is an insane story yeah. and a beautiful story for I her know. to like, I, I 100% believe she was coming back to say how valuable and how important you guys were yes. to her and that she appreciated the fact that you did that for her. Agreed. Oh, wow. Good. That's so special. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Um, when my friend and I were in fourth grade, my friend's cousin tragically passed away. About two years later, my friend and I were hanging out at my house. My little brother had gotten a Rugrats watch from his Happy Meal. Do you remember those? Yes. Me too. As soon as like I read that, I was like, oh, fuck. Memory unlocked that I didn't <laughs> yeah. remember I had. It was orange, right? I don't know. Anyways. I pictured purple, but maybe there was more than one. Yeah. Green? Maybe. This seems like yeah, Nickelodeon yeah. colors. Yeah, yeah. Green, purple, <laughs> orange for sure. It was the kind where you press buttons and it would say catchphrases. Mm, like, yes, in their yes, voice. yes. Yep. While my friend was spending the night, it was really late at night. We were telling stories and bringing up memories when all of a sudden this stupid watch started talking, but it was not Tommy Pickles talking. And it was no catchphrases I'd ever heard from Rugrats before. And then really loudly it said, adios losers. (gasps) What the fuck? I know. And then it stopped working completely. (laughs) 
<laughs> no, now my you know. eyes are so full of tears. Now you know why I. I love covered in goose pimps. <laughs> now you know why I. Oh, by the way, you guys, I'm gonna say Marco Polo. That is an app. We've also been getting a lot of people that are like, "What the fuck is Marco Polo?" Yeah, it's like a walkie-talkie vi- video app. It's kind of like you know how you can send videos of yourself on Snapchat talking. There's, it's just that, but with no time limit. Yeah, and like to one person, and you guys, it's just a walkie-talkie. But anyways, yes. now you know why Marco Polo do earlier and I had full on fucking tears in my eyes every single time oh because my these were gosh. like ah! ew oh, no. did you ever have like stuffed animals make noises yes like when you weren't around I had one that was like a bear and it would be like ah! and then wh- I don't know if it was dying but at the end it was like wah, 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 wah. and I was like get out of my fucking room and it would do it in the middle of the night I will I refuse to buy my children toys that make noises like that Me for too. that reason I was like fuck no there was a, a cat dog toy which is funny <laughs> since people used to say that we look like cat dogs yeah. but um back when i could stretch my legs <laughs> <laughs> yeah there was a cat dog toy in my youngest sister randy's room mm-hmm. that would go off randomly and it would be like hey how you doing and i'm like fucking don't talk to me yeah the worst is when it's like a baby doll and you hear the <laughs> like a giggle i'm like if you- that's why i don't fuck with furbies <laughs> i hate furbies I don't like that it was like early AI. Yeah, yeah. Yum. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> no. Okay. God, this is so fun. I told you this was going to yeah. be a good one. I can't wait to do these more often. I mm. feel like we have to make this like a freaking monthly thing. Yeah. These are so good. Um, okay. This one <laughs> starts out and it, it starts out. Ha 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 ha. Ew, I already am scared. <laughs> And so it says, okay, no, I think this is a funny one. This says, okay, this is going to be me absolutely outing nine year old me. But <laughs> one time, me and my friends were using a Ouija board. I say Ouija board, but it was actually just some janky ass letters we wrote on a torn up pieces of paper, and we were like, perfect. Hey, homie, that's legit. That is. That still fucking works, yep. and it's still scary. Yes. I've done a Ouija board one time and it's because you made me do it. I used to do it with people a lot in I college. I would do it with paper and oh, I also like... You did ours with paper, did you not? Yeah. Um, I think the, you made it. Yeah, we also bought like a piece of wood and drew it on there. And oh, got yeah, like a picture. that was it. And then we got a picture frame and used that as the... Because we took the frame part out and just yeah. used the hole. We were talking to our grandma and all she had to say to me was dump him. <laughs> and I was like, you're yeah, fucking right, I will. And she told me I was going to get the job that I had just applied for yep. and I did. Yep. She told me I was going to marry someone with a W name. So she was a little off. <laughs> she did? Remember? Or maybe it was a B. B or W. Either way, wrong. Nope, not correct. Oh, um, there's still time. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't listen. <laughs> um, okay. Where am I? I lost my. Oh, and we thought we were talking to some spirit of a little girl. Then they do an eye roll emoji. So as a nine year old's do, we ask her what her favorite food was, obviously. And the first letter moved to B. My dumbass was like, she obviously is going to say balloons. (laughs) So I'm going to move it to A. So I was trying to fight with like five other girls for the planchette. Right. Yeah. Which is, she said was my dad's whiskey tumbler. <laughs> <laughs> Who are also trying to move it themselves, too, because they're nine year olds. Yeah. yeah. In the end, we all got so frustrated and gave up, but we all swore on my on our lives that we weren't moving it ourselves. Yeah. Later on, one of the girls admitted that she was moving it herself and that she was trying to spell out blood to scare us. And yes, definitely scarier than fucking balloons. <laughs> 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 so long story short. I tried to fake being the ghost of a little girl in my dad's garage who ate balloons. (laughs) Spooky. (laughs) On another real or paranormal note, at that same house, I was having a sleepover with a friend, and I kept my acoustic guitar on top of my wardrobe at the time. In the middle of the night, it just randomly strummed. It was facing upwards, so maybe it was like a big moth or a funky spider. I don't know. No, it's so hard to strum a guitar. It is. You have to have, like, force. That is not a bug. No. She said, but geez, that scared us so much we slept downstairs instead. I still sometimes think Ooh, about it. Oh, that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> love you both loads. Have a wonderful maternity, Sierra. Oh, love ah, you too. Love you too. It said love from Mags. And then there's a bunch of exes, so I'm assuming you're either Australian or from the UK. Us? Yeah, that's like a UK thing, I think. There's lots of or, kisses? Yeah. Or just exes. exes? I think just exes. The exes and your they haunt me. Oh my God. Is there a fucking spider on there? It's a bug for sure. (laughs) (laughs) 
Good thing I didn't lick my bike. <laughs> I don't know if I killed it or not. Great, it's just on the couch with us. Well, it wasn't a spider. Okay. It was a um a fruit fly. Oh, fuck a fruit fly. <laughs> I know. Okay. I'm a fucking fruit fly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This one says, my name is Paige and my pronouns are she, her, by the way. It doesn't have to stay private. What's well, a good thing? Because I didn't read all that. And it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Paige? Um, when I was in third grade, I shared a bedroom in the basement with my little, br- sorry, my little sister. I don't know why I wanted to say brother so bad. Um, I was on the top bunk and our bedroom didn't have a door. We were, fi- she's in the basement. Correct. Okay. We were facing the stairs that led up to the front door and our parents' bedroom was right beside ours. This is necessary info for later. Anyways, one night I couldn't sleep and was reading a book in my bed. My mom was upstairs on the phone with someone, but I didn't know who or why, and I thought it was weird since it was around 11 p.m. and she usually went to bed hours earlier. I was reading my book, and out of the corner of my eye, I saw a silhouette sitting on the bottom two steps. I couldn't see their face since it was all black, like a shadow person, scary as shit, and they were wearing a funky-shaped hat. Imagine those puffy train conductor caps. Mm. So I knew it was my aunt because she always wore those types of hats, those types of weird hats, although unfortunately she was not a train conductor. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting so many goosebumps. <laughs> like my all of my hair on my arms were standing up and then that just broke it. These okay, people cool. are so our brand because in, in a lot of these, when it's getting too sad or too scary, they like break it up with some humor yeah. and I love that. Wow. I like you guys. You don't so have much. to, but I do. I it, it's nice. Very much like us. It's our pace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, she waved to me, and surprisingly, I wasn't scared. And what then the she- fuck? This shadow person waved you, and you're like, "What's up?" Yeah. And then she dissolved into the air. <gasps> I was kind of in shock, as anyone would be. Is when this you- hey Arnold? <laughs> the ghost train episode oh my god that one is so fucking scary right um and then she dissolved into the air i was kind of in shock as anyone would be when you see your aunt that's alive what as far as you know the aunt was alive pop up on your stairs around midnight like a genie offering you three wishes (laughs) oh my god around 30 seconds later i heard my mom say she's dead to someone (gasps) on the phone upstairs and then she ran oh this is gonna make her cry and then she ran downstairs to tell my father, so I pretended I was asleep, and then she left the house. I shook it off and fell asleep. The next morning when I woke up, my dad was waiting for us and said that our aunt passed away around midnight last night <gasps> and that I wouldn't be going to school for the next few days. I saw my aunt before I knew she died. Oh, wow. I know. In the days after her passing, my little sister, who was around three at the time, kept talking about a lady with long black hair, my aunt, trying to play with her but she didn't like it my mom told me that she asked my aunt to stop because it was scaring my little sister and my sister never saw her again afterwards oh my gosh my sister had only met her once when she was a newborn and my mom didn't have any pictures of her out so she wouldn't have remembered her another time when my mom when my sister was around four or five she said to my mom out of nowhere mom auntie isn't in heaven anymore she's a baby My mom was freaked out and called her niece, who said no, she wasn't pregnant, and then called her nephew, who said that his girlfriend was pregnant. (gasps) My aunt's granddaughter was born on the same day my aunt was born. Looks identical to how she did as a baby and is the calmest, sweetest, most well-behaved child I've ever met. Sometimes it feels like I'm babysitting my aunt. (laughs) That was around six years ago. I'm 15 now, and we still get signs from her. Close to holidays, like one of our birthdays or Mother's Day, we always see balloons floating in the sky or wrapped around a tree, and everyone in our family insists that they have nothing to do with it. Whenever her son and his daughter or my grandmother visit our house, my mom's bedroom lights flicker crazy like we're in poltergeist. Wow. I miss her, but it's comforting to know that she's not going anywhere, even though we can't be with her physically anymore. Even though sometimes she likes to scare the absolute living <laughs> shit out of us. <laughs> I have a ton more ghost stories, but this is already enough, so I'll save it for another time. I really love your podcast, and thank you for bringing so much light into my life. You're like my cool older sisters or aunts. Love you guys. We love you. I have a train hat. (laughs) (laughs) Me too. (laughs) No, We used to drive a train. We did. We were train conductors. (laughs) We were. It was a tiny train. Thank you for sending that in. That that was was amazing. That was the one that got me real bad. Yeah, that made me cry. It made me cry pretty hard earlier. Wow, what a beautiful story. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of my aunt, because we knew the day after she passed away, 
I don't know, again, if we, we told this on the ghost story, but like all of the clocks in my grandma's house mm-hmm. stopped at the time that she passed away, like the day after. Right. And it was crazy. Yeah. Just things like that are... Unreal. They are. It's undeniable. Yes. I don't understand people who say they don't believe in those things because I just want to be like, then what other explanation do you have? Yeah. I'm a logical person for sure, but mm-hmm. like... What logical explanation do you have? I can't. I yeah. can't. And and I'm someone who like I will want to explain it away because Me too. I would rather exhaust every logical reasoning for something to make sure that the stuff that can't be explained is legit. Yes. Like I try I genuinely tried yep. to figure this shit out. Yep. Like I genuinely tried to figure out why the fuck this stuff was going off. Yeah in my dorm room and I didn't know. And it makes no sense. It makes no fucking sense why all of those clocks stopped at that time. Yep. It's freaking insane. Wow. I remember after my grandma passed, um, my cousin, Mario Carderica, and her (laughs) mom and sister moved into my grandma's house Mm -hmm. with my grandpa. And they had a lot of light flickering situations happening. And like, it didn't happen later on yeah. like it stopped happening at some point in and time what's crazy and nothing ch- that's the thing is like no one changed any of the electrical so it just nope. like stopped all of us yeah and what's crazy is you can feel like i have had houses that i've lived in where i feel like this is a bad vibe i'm yeah. not liking and things would move or th- and like i would feel uncomfortable being alone my house now i've never felt uncomfortable yeah. being alone in it never had any kind of bad or good vibes just like it feels like home But I've had houses that are really, really bad. And then Uh I've had moments like that where I believe it was my aunt. And it's so, I don't feel any of that. I'm just like almost at peace when I see Mm -hmm. it. I'm like, oh, there she is. Yeah. You know, like, I I know I talked uh, about my friend Emily in the first ghost story episode, who's a friend of mine who passed away when we were in the second grade. Um, I felt her with me for the longest time in my life. Mm -hmm. And then when my life got to a point where I was settled it was almost like she moved on. Yes. Like she was like, you don't need me anymore. Maybe that's why I don't have those things following me anymore. Cause yes. it's always was when my life was like in turmoil. And now that things are going well, I hear nothing, see nothing, like feel nothing. Nope. You are one of those monkeys. <laughs> see no <laughs> spirits. <laughs> feel no spirits. Hear no spirits. <laughs> Although Ollie tonight again said he was hearing things upstairs in the, in the attic. He was like loud sounds, loud sounds. But like Shane and I were in, the kitchen and heard nothing and our house is not very big no yeah we heard Ooh, nothing weird yeah so when we made the podcast yeah. like one of the things our our core of it the reason that we didn't select a a specific like, like niche genre. thing yeah. yeah was because we wanted to be able to talk about everything, everything. and everything that we Whenever, like that interests us yeah because we have ADHD at the time, <laughs> yeah that because we had undiagnosed ADHD and, and realized time, we couldn't stay on topic <laughs> And at the time, we didn't think anybody would give a fuck but us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were like, we're doing this for us. But Don't put me in a corner. Don't, don't put us in a box. <laughs> um, but the whole premise was friendship without interaction. And yes. when I think about how we went through the, the episodes, like if I look back at our catalog, we really did start off like with just stuff we were curious about, stuff yeah. we were interested in. And then we got like serious. Deep. And then we got like, yeah, deep to the point where we're working through trauma, trying to do personal growth, like trying to understand ourselves. And now we're sharing like personal stories. It really does feel like we've just developed like how you would naturally develop a friendship. And so it feels so cool to have an opportunity to hear your guys' stories. It like how really we would, does feel like a sleepover type of yes. vibe. Like we're all telling our scary stories and we're like, what? Oh yes, my God, it's crazy. so fun. Yeah. That's what I loved about reading these is I felt like I was like with friends and I'm like, oh my God, tell me more. Yeah. I love it. I'm so excited that we did this. Yeah. Thank you guys for sending stuff in. This is yes. so fun. Wonderful. Okay. On a cold and dreary night in the middle of my... <laughs> Wow. I know. Sets the tone. The literary tools. On a cold and dreary night. In the middle of my pregnancy with my second child. Hold on, wait. Oh, no. I wanted to see if they gave me a name or pronouns. They didn't, but that's okay. Okay. Um, I was having a fitful night's sleep. In an effort to not wake up my peacefully sleeping husband, I mean, honestly, how rude of him. <laughs> I fucking know what you mean. Trust me. 
Yeah. Corey sometimes will yell at me for tossing and turning, and I'm like, bitch. <laughs> do you want to get fucking hit? Because I'm a peaceful person, but I will smack a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she says, I decided to go try and sleep on the couch. I tossed and turned for quite some time before finally falling back asleep. All of a sudden, I jolted upright. Something had woken me from a sound sleep. <laughs> Hold on. This is giving me contractions. Yeah, because I, I remember this one. Okay. I can't sleep in another room. Like, if I leave the room, it's because I'm angry. And yeah. Shane won't, like, we can't sleep in different spaces. No, like, it's we really have, hard for me to have to sleep well. in the same space. So when people are like, eh, I'm just going to go try and sleep on the couch, not fucking in our house. I that can't. doesn't work. Yeah. I tossed and turned for quite some time before finally falling asleep. All of a sudden, I jolted upright. Something had woken me from a sound sleep. From my position on the couch, I saw a figure standing in the hallway. First, my brain said it was my son. But wait, it's too tall to be him. Okay, it must be my husband. Nope, too short. Not to mention, homeboy was wearing a nightgown and a sleeping cap. No. I stared at the Ebenezer Scrooge figure for a long minute. He startled, like, oh shit, she can see me, and put his back against the wall. I squeezed my eyes shut, hoping it was a bad dream, and turned and opened them just in time to see him turn around and walk back down the hall. I turned on the lamp, but I was paralyzed with fear. Should I follow Scroogey Boy down the hall to get, or get my husband? They really do break up the scary stuff <laughs> with jokes. Or stay on the couch. Fear made me decide it's every bitch for themselves when it comes to ghosts, and I just stayed awake on the couch for hours. After that instance, I would wake up overnight, swearing I could hear the TV on or music from Super Mario Brothers, only to get up and open my door and it to stop. I never felt threatened by the nightgown man, but it was an eerie feeling. I don't like that he's called the, the nightgown, nightgown man. man. Oh, there is something like very Ebenezer Scrooge yeah. about that. But it was an eerie feeling, to say the least. Way less scary than the time I heard someone whisper, Mama, behind me when all of my children were asleep. Ooh. But that's a different story for another spooky season. Yeah. <laughs> I think these the ones that get me like super emotional, I have like something similar and it triggers a fear memory in yeah. me. Yeah. I remember being like seven years old. And waking up because of a storm, Ooh. and there was a little boy in Dude, striped pajamas standing in my doorway. When there's like lightning that flashes, and you just see a silhouette. Oh no! It wasn't a silhouette. It was like it was like you could him. see him. Oh, I saw him. He was wet, like he had come in from outside. <laughs> I can Not if a I wet little boy. <laughs> if, if I think like I can see him in my door, right in my memory, and I remember closing my eyes really, really hard. <sighs> Hoping that he would go away, and I opened my eyes, and he was right next to my bed. No! I'm not even. I'm not fucking with you. It was the scariest thing I'd ever seen, and he seemed pissed. Oh my he god! Seemed, he was mad at you for being alive. He was mad. He was fucking <gasps> mad. And I remember as a kid, I had a. Oh my god, that makes me want to throw up a little bit. <laughs> I used to have a a door on my closet, but it like made no sense because of how my room was made. Like the, a closet door didn't make sense, so we got rid of it and put uh, that beaded Be curtain, yeah, <laughs> like bamboo beaded. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. But there was this outline of what I thought was my guardian angel, <gasps> but I don't think it was. Like I don't know. I just I feel I felt super weird about it. Like after the, after that boy came <gasps> to me, because I remember I got up and ran through him. Oh my God. And went to my parents' room yeah. and I slept on the floor. I yeah. was just like so scared. And I could be lying because I have I have trouble believing myself when it comes to telling childhood stories. But like I had scratches on my back. Yeah. Oh my it's, God. There's so many stories that are like that. I don't oh, know if I included this, them in this one or not. So like when I hear like someone was in a stri like a nightgown, like yeah. all I see is that little boy, <gasps> that pissed wet little boy. <sighs> and like it's, that was the worst for me. The fucking worst. My stomach is hard as a fucking rock. Right now. <laughs> I'm about to give birth Literally. on this couch. Oh my god! I think I've just had like one super long contraction mm. this entire time. We could That's be having so a baby, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh! On this couch, that would be crazy. Okay, so hey, ladies, you two are so amazing. I relate to both of you so much. <laughs> You're both so understanding, funny, strong, beautiful. <laughs> Are, you just adding, adding included this? <laughs> Are you just adding more adjectives? <laughs> yeah. said, I could compliment you all day, but I'll leave it at that. No, don't Aww. stop. Come back. <laughs> Give us more. 
Twig should hire you for their next marketing. <laughs> for sure. Anyways, ghost story. Right. That's what I'm telling you about. I have so many of these. The house my mom was raised in was haunted beyond belief. One time when my mom was younger, she was at her house alone and she heard laughing and stomping in her basement. Nope. No, 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 no. The house is for sale now. <laughs> Fuck. I don't want any joy or laughter if it's not coming from a living human being. No. When she opened the door. I don't to the- trust laughter that's not from someone. Like, I don't. What are you so happy about? <laughs> You're fucking dead, my guy. It seems mischievous. It does. And I don't like mischievous laughter. <laughs> maybe it was. Maybe it was just fun laughter. Maybe but like fun, Im- and they don't know that they're dead. No. Oh. No, I don't like that either. If you're coming back to say goodbye to somebody, but like if you're a spirit that doesn't know that you're dead, I feels unsettled because I, I like feel that. a presence right now. Yeah, what? I just do. <laughs> Why did you look over? Because that's where I feel it. That's I- where I feel it. <gasps> After you said that, I was like, "You mean from here?" Yes, that's exactly where it is. I have to go pee. That's where the bathroom is. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay. Good. 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 Great. Great. Whoever you are over there in the corner, I love that we did this. You can laugh. <laughs> Not right now. Oh my god! What are we fucking started laughing? Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. 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 If now- we hear a laughter in this recording, don't. There's a fucking t- well, I'm scared now. I keep looking at it, and I'm like, "Am I fucking?" see a person in, that TV. <laughs> in the reflection of the tv Listen, i'm leaving i don't even know why that's down here we it's not even plugged in <laughs> but um if i listen back to this recording and hear something i swear to fucking god <gasps> you're gonna post it but you could forget for a yes. little first but for sure post it <sighs> okay when she opened the door to the basement she heard a giant piece of glass shatter she ran outside Got her older brother and he went down to the basement and nothing was there. My mom and aunts and uncles also talked about multiple times where they would hear footsteps walking up and down the hallway. They would hear silverware banging on the countertops, random laughing and even smell smoke. No, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. When I grew up, one of my aunts bought oh this. Oh my God. <laughs> your hair is doing the same thing as the hair on your head. <laughs> this is actually because I'm scared. It's not, <laughs> it's not the wig. Oh my God. When I grew up, one of my aunts bought this house for my grandma and grandpa. When I was there one night, I went to the bathroom. The bathroom and the basement door were five feet apart. And the basement door was closed. As I got about six feet from the bathroom... The basement door flew open, and I heard a voice. I could not tell you what was said, but I know I've never ran faster than when I ran out of that house. Called my mom and didn't go back for at least five years. Five years? I fucking would never go back. I no longer have a mom. No, (laughs) it was her aunt. Oh, or an aunt. Fuck my mom. I have no family. Um... I still get the heebie-jeebies whenever I have to go there, but I definitely oh, make I sure I use heebie-jeebies in a long time. Oh, heebie-jeebies is good. Yeah, I definitely make sure I use the bathroom before I go there. Oh, I told you some of these are not fun. They're scary. I know. I have to pee too now. Fuck. We could go together. Okay. We could do that halfsy thing that we did when we were kids. <laughs> it's gonna be a little difficult now. I really, I want most of it. Okay. I want the bigger half. Well, I'm on my period, so. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I have a flex disc in. <laughs> Woo! Congrats. Mess free body sharing. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you have to poop. I don't. Don't ever poop with me all the time. With you, <laughs> there's one thing <laughs> that I ask. <laughs> we have not peed on the toilet together yeah, since we were like th- <laughs> we five. Have much smaller butts. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys ever share a toilet with your cousin or no? No, is that just us? Okay. <laughs> okay. I hope I pronounce your name right. This says, hi, my name is Mika, I think. It's Ooh. M-E-I-K-A. Like the, I can be brown, I can be blue, I can be fire, let's go. I think so. So sorry. You probably get that all the time. Yeah. I get people chanting Jerry at me all the time. I was thinking about that because we said the thing with... You know, with me, it's like see era. Yeah. And you get Jerry. I was like, what? We really missed an opportunity to introduce ourselves in the podcast and be like, "Hi, I'm C era, <laughs> and I'm Jerry." Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> I would have hated listening. Uh, me to that too. Every week. But what a missed opportunity. Excuse me again. I'm so gassy, you guys. <laughs> okay. And I love you, ladies. We love you. I lived in a rental house that had serious bad vibes, but no one really thought anything of it. I was always hearing an older lady's voice, but I just tuned it out. 
Oh. How do you oh, tune it out? That. How do you tune it out? Oh, How? The, oh my god, this one's bad. Okay. There was a small creek that ran through the backyard and I, and I saw a young boy standing on the bank holding a small dead animal. What the fuck? Both he and the animal had blood on him, on them, so I knew that he had killed the animal. What did they say? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> no i never told anyone this because i thought it was just a weird dream flash forward to my boyfriend helping me pack to move one night and he mentioned the same little no! boy what did he say i, what did he say? <laughs> I immediately started crying and we promptly left the house he asked me if i had ever seen him in any of his other ages and i said no he only let me see him as a child we're both fully convinced i'm sorry did your boyfriend see him as other ages that's what i'm wondering i need more yeah I don't want more. No, I don't want more. Don't send me out. Both- <laughs> don't talk to us ever again. Make it happen. <laughs> we're both fully convinced that the small child killed his grandmother, the Ooh. voice I kept hearing, and they were both stuck there. <laughs> what a... Wait, was listen. his grandma also a rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> my grandma. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Wait. Symbolism. Yeah. But also, <laughs> they had to, like, put that together. Yeah. They, they were like, okay, I hear an old woman, and I... I don't love that no, something. That, that did you was not okay? I didn't like that. That the 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 noise level just like dropped, and something beeped. Ah! Um. Oh my god, I have to pee so bad. My now. kid is gonna get oh birthed tonight. <laughs> um. They had to hear that woman, yeah, and then see that kid and be like, "All right, so woman plus kid means." He nailed Al. <laughs> he killed her. And yeah. like, why do you assume that that maybe she killed him? Oh, spoopy grandma. <laughs> spoopy grandma is probably it. That seems a lot. That's my humidifier. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I've never heard it do that before, though. <laughs> Ew, it got so silent. It did. I don't like that. All right. Okay. Pushing through, pushing through. <laughs> Okay, so what? Do you have like a couple more for this one and then oh my god. A couple yeah, yeah. more for this one and then we'll do uh the rest for the exclusive. Yeah. So if you're enjoying this, there's another one coming Friday. Yes. And if you have five dollars to spare, you can listen. <laughs> there's another one coming Friday. Yeah. Um, okay. It's a bonus. Don't get mad. Yeah. Exclusive. I feel like we can't say bonus because then people think it's It's, like additional. I'm sorry. It's exclusive content. Revert back to the beginning if you want to know how to get it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We both just want pee. And so now we're like (laughs) (laughs) trying to get back into the zone. Okay. Okay. This is, um, do they give me a name? No, just she, her pronouns. Okay. Sorry, this is long. I feel like I have experienced a lot of unexplainable things, but my least favorite was this girl we call Kim. When I was 14, we moved to a new house. Eminem's mom (laughs) or wife? Maybe. Wife. Wife. When I was 14, we moved to a new house in this country from the city. Classic scary movie bullshit. (laughs) You know. Oh, yeah. I was going to say Hallmark. (laughs) Classic Hallmark Christmas movie. Um. Before we started working to renovate the house, we walked through scoping out who would get what bedroom and so forth. This literally is like the beginning of every scary movie. Yeah. There's like, or, you know, it's an old wooden hallway and they're, Pat, yep. Pat, Pat, you get that room, I'll get this There's room. like three kids running, but one walking real slow because yes. they don't want to be there anyway. And they're like, oh, I fucking. Whatever, yeah, honestly. Fuck this place. <laughs> <laughs> fucking mom and dad. <laughs> Ruin my friends. Life. Yeah. They're just texting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, one of my sisters picked a room that was clearly a little girl's room before. Hi, click, clack. Come on. Therapy dog, get up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was clearly a little girl's room. Um, before. We didn't think anything of it because it seemed normal, right? You go in and you're like, oh, this was made for a child. It's got pink, whatever the fuck. We came back a week later to find a picture taped to the bedroom door, drawn with the crayon of a little girl and her family, and no one had been at the house, so we were like, wow, that's creepy. We should pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> Fast forward again, and I was walking in the yard a couple weeks later and found two little hair bows for a girl next to the window to that bedroom. 
We had mowed the yard several times and these looked perfect other than just a little dirty from being outside. Cool, cool, cool. (laughs) So then I'm in our basement telling my sister about the bows and her face gets all serious. And she was like, dude, look what showed up next to my bed. (gasps) It was standard basement. It was a standard basement, so the walls were just cinder blocks with no paneling over them. And scratched in one of those blocks was the name Kim. (gasps) It looked like it was written in chalk, but it wouldn't wash off. Great. Love that. (laughs) So then we were talking about how weird it was and trying to joke, but also freaking out. And we hear a big boom upstairs. We were the only ones home. So we both looked at each other like, oh, fuck, what now? Go upstairs and a large accent chair was flipped upside down in my parents' I'm room. I'm sorry. And you don't live there anymore. No, nope, That's goodbye. Kim's house. <laughs> Let Kim have it. Yeah. Kim's fucking mad and she's strong. Yeah. <laughs> she's so strong. <laughs> I can't flip an accent chair. Kim is flexing right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> So anyways, I kind of blacked out from the panic after that, but I know we left the house for a while. This bitch doing calligraphy on the walls. <laughs> I don't like it. She's redecorating. That's her house. <laughs> she, yeah, she lives there now. Oh, my God. Kim did comp- continue to play tricks for a couple years, such as leaving cookies out, messing with the lights, opening cabinets, and making loud sounds. My parents moved from that house, and another family lives there now. I always wonder how Kim introduced herself to them. You all I don't. Are... I I don't like how they said tricks. Ooh, Those like... aren't fun. Okay. Tr- are tricks fun for you? Tricks are for kids. I was gonna say <laughs> tricks with an X are so fun and oh, delicious. They are good. God, now damn it! I want cereal. <laughs> tricks, Twix. What's up? Hey, we still here. <laughs> We're here. Um, y'all are great. Love you and your podcast so much. Thank you so much. Thank That's you. We love you back. Scary. Kim is so scary. Oh my God. Do you have to disclose that information when you sell your house? Like, hey, Kim lives here though. Like, you can have it, but you also get Kim <laughs> I don't know. and her bows and her hair, her hair flipping, and her, her hair. <laughs> no, grandma's hair. Grandma. <laughs> yeah, her chair flipping. Yes. Okay, we could do like two more. So I will start out this story by telling you have that many more for the exclusive. Oh, I have so many. Oh my fucking god! And like I said, these weren't even all the ones I wanted to put in there. Holy shit! I know. I know. You guys got scary stuff. Yeah. So I will start out this story by telling you this is not my story, but rather my dad's. Also, I will say that my dad is the biggest scaredy cat when it comes to oh. anything paranormal, ghost related. A fucking same. My dad is a skeptic. He's a hella fucking skeptic. So Corey, but, but I if remember it would happen in front of him. I bet he would freak the fuck out. There were so many times where I told my dad about things that I saw or things that I heard. And he was like, Jerry. And he would like try and explain it away. Mm-hmm. But I remember one time he was sitting in the living room. There was two like lounge chairs, like recliners and uh, um, how my parents house is set up is like when you walk in the front door, you can see directly to the back of the house. Yeah. And so like you walk into the what we call the front room and then you walk through a door and you're in the kitchen, which is kind of open ish concept into the living room. So anyway, there's two recliners in the living room at the time. And my dad and I are both sitting in them. And all of a sudden I saw my dad's face turn really quickly Mm -hmm. to the front of the house toward the front room. And he and I both saw a shadow go across the front room and that was the first time where i was like you fucking saw it yeah you fucking saw it. explain that away dad explain it away this is not me telling you about something it's not one of my you sisters telling you i saw you see it and he was like i don't know what to say about that ah! and i'm like mm-hmm. fucking thank you told you so mm-hmm. bitch <laughs> <laughs> anyway okay sorry back okay. to this story Um, A few years ago, he was standing in our church parking lot talking to someone after an event. As he was standing there, he was facing towards one of the building and saw a little girl about seven to eight years old with pigtails in an older dress, an older style dress. He started to walk towards her and ask her if she needed help. The person with him was asking where he was going and what he was talking about. My dad walked all the way around the building trying to find the little girl, but no one was there. The person he was talking with never even saw anyone. (gasps) Obviously, this freaked them both out, and they went home. Fast forward a few months. I them on my face. And he has a dream with the same <gasps> little girl in it. She is riding in his truck with him and keeps saying she wants to go faster, but she doesn't want to get in trouble. But he doesn't want to get in trouble or hurt her. Hurt her. When he drops her off at home in the dream, she leans over and kisses him on the cheek and says, it was nice to see you, brother. 
what the fuck yo time out also (laughs) it's important to note that you can't see someone in your your dreams that you've never seen that you've never yes that you've never seen before in real life yeah your your brain is not capable of making up faces or places yeah like even everywhere you've gone you've seen even in a movie or something right even if it's like a building yeah but in a city that it doesn't belong like you can mix and match things but like you you have seen those things in real life and so a person you've seen her fucking face before yep Uh, um after this, he really starts to freak out. He consulted our pastor and realizes that this, this may be his little sister. His mom, my Nana, had a miscarriage when he was very <gasps> young. She shared his love for a lot of the same things he did, going fast, the water, etc. During the few dream visits that he had with her. Fast forward another few months and he asked my Nana to go through old photos and starts to visibly get choked up when he comes ac- across a photo. When he got home, he told me that this picture of my Nana looks exactly like the little girl who keeps visiting him. Oh, we have all, right? My God. We have all accepted her as his guardian angel at this point because there's no fear when she visits and it's more of a comfort Aww. to know who she is now. That is so terrifyingly cute i know <laughs> i know you tell me little girl and pigtails and i'm like i'm fucking like that but that's the thing like when i was in college and i was fucking with ouija boards a lot mm-hmm. don't do that nope um because Disclaimer, i please. yeah i didn't understand what i was doing and i thought it was like do you know you're supposed to say goodbye Oh, yes. Okay, I didn't, and yes. I don't know if I ever did. Yeah, well, if you were me, you said goodbye. Yeah. If you were with me, you said goodbye. Okay, I always made sure to okay, say good, goodbye. Um, I always did things like how you were supposed to do them, but I did it so frequently, like with my friend, because really her and I... with your luck. I was, I was. And there was times where, like, bad... I don't even like to talk about what happened because I'm afraid that it's still around. Um... But, and this thing has been following my sister since mm. childhood. Your sister as well. You can ask oh, her about it. I know about the one that follows my sister around. Yes. Was this because you did it together? Yes. <gasps> you you did that with my sister. <laughs> no, not your sister. I did it with Sam. Because oh. Sam and her did it together. Oh. Yeah. Sam and Taylor did it with another girl. My sister has some very terrible things that follow her around. It's actually pretty upsetting. I think it's from that one thing. Did I ever tell you the story here? I'm going to tell you a story. Quick we're being we ambiguous because one. I'm genuinely afraid of it. Yes. Um, but this was one of the, because I used to always be like, whatever. I'm just like knocking because I don't, yeah. I don't know how it works, but like, don't come near me. <laughs> um, I used to listen to my sister say she saw things, she heard things. And my sister does not get scared very easily no. at all. She is not a person. She's very she's tough. She's a fucking tough bitch. She's a tough bitch. So like when she gets genuinely scared and she's like crying or in tears over something because she's that frightened, I know that it's legit. So, but I still was like skeptical ish because I'm like, oh, I don't know. The story she was telling me was like yep. something was leaning over her when she was on the couch sleeping, whispering in her ear. Oh, fucking mm-hmm. whatever. But one time it was around the holidays. I want to say it was probably Christmas time ish. And I t- I've talked about this on multiple episodes. But on my mom's side of the family, we always do like family game nights around that time um, because my aunt passed away on Christmas. And so we like to keep it like a celebration of yes. her. Yeah. So my sister was at home. She hadn't come yet. I think she was waiting for something. Maybe she got off work late or something. But me and all the rest of the cousins were there already waiting on her. And I get a call from her. And so I'm like, let's put it on speakerphone. <gasps> mm-hmm. I remember this. And I answer the phone on speakerphone and it's like weird, like f- like this high frequency. And then it's like, <laughs> like a voice like that. Yep. <laughs> and I, I can hear her like faintly in the background. And she's like, because to me, as soon as I hear that voice, I go, hello, hello are you okay? Mm-hmm. And then we start laughing because we're like, what the fuck is this? And I hung up and I was like, that was super weird. And she calls me back and she is bawling. Yep. And I'm like, what? And she goes, what happened? And I said, dude, you... I'm laughing at this point because it was a yeah. funny, it was like a weird, funny, like blah, 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 noise. Yeah. And, and she... when you're with other people, it's we, easier to like, <laughs> yeah. And when, yeah. when you're with other people and the lights are on and nothing seems scary. Yeah. We're just like, that was fucking hilarious. She's like, Sierra, all of my lights were just going off and on in my house. And I was freaking out and I called you because I'm scared. And I wanted you or mom to come over to come get me uh-huh. to go with me. And when I called you, the only thing I could hear 
was hello hello are you okay and she said she fucking freaked out yeah. and like shut the phone off because she's like what the fuck is happening yeah. it was so creepy when she told me that then i was like oh okay that's not funny anymore that's really fucking scary nope nope Ooh. okay <sighs> i think why i started bringing up the ouija board though is because oh sorry no no no, no. i i remembered why i was i Going connected there. because she was saying like there's no fear yeah or, i'm sorry they i don't did they give their pronouns huh think no okay so they said that there was no fear when this spirit came around Mm -hmm. whenever i would play with the ouija board or use it i guess um or when i that they sold those as like a children's toy by the way fucking when i felt because i once i learned who emily like that emily was with me Mm -hmm. i could feel her like i knew what she felt like Mm -hmm. and um i felt at peace when she was around like i could tell when her energy was around and i knew that it was her but there were times i could feel it in my body it was if it was if it was light and in my chest it was good but if it was heavy and in my head then it was not nice and it i remember one time we were in a dorm room and I was playing with Sam and whatever it was, was lying and Mm -hmm. saying that it was something else other than what it was. I think you told me this. And I was like, Sam, whatever is talking to us right now, we don't need to be talking to this. This isn't, I can tell you based on where I'm feeling this in my body, this is not something that we need to be talking with. And as soon as I said that, it wouldn't answer any question. I'm like going to cry. It wouldn't answer any questions. And anytime we spoke to it, it would go around in a circle and go off the board. Oh, and so we were like, goodbye, 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 goodbye. Like it was one of the scariest things. I want you to know how fucking hard my child is moving inside my body right now. Like she must feel my fear because she is like going banana sandwich in here. Yeah. Like her foot, I don't know if you can see, but it is I, like, I can see that she's like really chilling over there. <laughs> she's just like doing some fucking mm-hmm. bicycle kicks over on this guy. Cause she's like, that what one is of going the, on? That was one of the scariest things that's ever happened. <sighs> it's probably because my heart is beating so fast. That's yeah. so fucking terrifying. Uh-huh. Oh God, I'm so glad. And I, I think the thing that was coming through then was the thing that uh-huh. our sisters fucked with as children. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. 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 Last one. Yep. Okay. Hi, my name is Jessica. She, her. And when I was in college, I worked at a restaurant in Iowa that was most definitely haunted. This was 2008, 2009, my last two years of high school. Oh, my God. That's two. Same. You're our age. The building had been used as a jewelry store for many years and was rumored to have been the scene of many heists during its long history. That sounds fucking so cool. I love the so word cool. heist. Yeah. Nothing like a good jewel heist. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a fucking, let's bring those back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was also known in town as the most haunted building in downtown. Great. The jewelry cases that lined the length of the front room were used to display local artwork while this restaurant was open. That's really fucking cool, actually. Yeah. The restaurant has since closed, and I'm not sure what business has moved in. So many weird things happened. So many weird, unsettling things happened there. I absolutely could not walk into the basement unless I was, like, praying, honestly. It felt so gross down there. I just had a sick feeling in my stomach every time I walked down there. Unfortunately, the wine and the beer cellar were down there, and our washer and dryer was down there also. The basement was where our head chef also kept all of the root vegetables. So, oh, I worked a restaurant that had, like, a basement that you had to go. That's, like, the dry stock is the basement area. What is a root vegetable? Like, um, like potatoes and stuff. Yeah, okay. anything that's like in the ground, I think. Okay. Um, But yeah, it's fucking super creepy to have to go down in this basement to go and get shit when you're Yuck. like in the middle of a... Yeah. Okay. That would be disorienting to go from like just like people, Chaos, people, people to like quiet nothing. And dark. Yeah. There was one time I was down in the basement getting bottles of wine pulled out for the evening and I heard a little girl's laughter. The head chef had a two-year-old daughter, so I came upstairs thinking I was going to be watching her for a little bit. When I didn't see her, I asked if his wife had taken her home, and he looked at me like I was bananas. He said that she had definitely not been there all night and told me I was hearing things. Oh, by the way, the light bulb in that wine cellar would not stay lit. It would burn out every two or three days, so we just stopped putting bulbs in it. Ooh, so it's fucking super dark down there. Blech. It was already creepy enough being down there and hearing things like children's laughter, but imagine doing it in the dark. There was only one light bulb that stayed lit, 
And it was at the very bottom of the basement stairs. Excuse me. Hold on. Yeah, that was going to burp again. Another time I was down there in the basement, the head chef asked me to go bring up some potatoes. Oh, so potatoes. <laughs> of course, those were at the very back of the basement, which the room was oriented, meant I had to come down the stairs and walk all the way towards the front of the restaurant. And remember, the only light was at the base of the stairs. It was a good 40 feet from the dim light bulb to the potatoes. I swear there was a... I just imagine her in the dark like, potatoes? Potatoes! Potatoes? <laughs> She's like, I swear there was a 20 degree... I was like, what is that fucking circle? <laughs> 20 degree difference between the stairs and the far back corner. Ooh, the temperature? Yes. Yikes. Yeah. Um, she said the last story I'll mention about the basement is this. There was an evening after the restaurant closed. The head chef, myself, and the other two servers were the only ones left in the building. Ooh, also, there's nothing fucking creepier than being in a restaurant after it closes, honestly. Mm. When it's... Like, you're the only ones in it. It's super fucking scary, especially if you're... I worked at a restaurant where the previous owner had killed himself in the upstairs. Yeah. Eesh. And so being in that place after dark was fucking so scary. Yeah. Like, that building made me feel not good things when I was in it. Yikes. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. The chef asked me to take linens downstairs so that his wife would be able to wash them the next evening. So um, I go down there with arms full of tablecloths and napkins and set all my stuff in the wa laundry basket next to the washing machine. So I walk to the so center of the room to grab the aprons that needed to be washed. And I hear footsteps running above me. It sounded like someone was being chased around in the front of the dining room. I don't know if she just names these people. David and Brandon joke around a lot. <laughs> so I figured they were just being dumb boys. I grabbed the aprons and br brought them to the hamper and then continued on back upstairs. They were sitting on one of the couches in the lounge that was in the back dining room. And I asked them what they were doing running around like that. And they said they'd been sitting on the couch the entire time. My stomach fell because I most certainly heard footsteps running circles over my head when I was down there. No. Oh, my God. That's so scary. Another time, I was walking from the kitchen, which was in the middle of the building, towards the front hostess stand. To get up there, I had to walk through the front dining room. As I walked past one of the tables, I noticed a chair was pulled out in the walkway. I assumed one of the guys had been rolling silverware and just didn't push it in, so I slid it in and kept walking. I get maybe three steps away, and I heard the chair scrape on the floor again. When I turned around, it was pulled back nope, out. Nope, nope, nope. You don't work there anymore. <laughs> Her next slide is nope, nope, nope. <laughs> You don't work there. You don't work there. And she said, uh, yeah, I quit a couple days later. Oh, my God. Uh, honestly, guys, are I've you had people, psychic? People have told me that I'm I'm psychic and that if I just harnessed my abilities, I could be really powerful. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yep. So she quit a couple days later. Anyways, I know that's a long one, but hopefully I hear it on your episode. Holy so hot go. damn. Woo. Nope. No, oh, my goodness. It's scary. Yeah. I didn't like any of that. Hope that you that had was the fun. worst fucking episode. <laughs> you guys <laughs> suck. <laughs> no kidding. Honestly, no, so good. That was so oh fun God. and wild, and I am very scared. I can't wait to do more because I have so many more good ones. So. Oh my God, I can't believe we're gonna do another right hour now. of it. Ah. So go and listen if you like that. Join the exclusive. Yeah. Um, and if that's the only one you want to listen to, just pay $5 and then cancel it. I don't yeah, give a fuck. Can, yeah, absolutely cancel it, please. Yeah, do what you need please. to do. Please. You know what? We don't even fucking want you to buy it. <laughs> you just know kidding. what? Never mind. <laughs> Unsubscribe. Don't, don't listen to anything we say. Uh, thank you guys for sending in those stories. That was so fun. So amazing. We are definitely going to be making this a series. Yes. Um, we'll add it to the tangents and true crime and the hey ladies yeah. and the scandals really and yeah. But I mean, like that's that's friendship. You yeah, know? we just talk. We share our stories and stuff, yeah. and sometimes we learn things, and sometimes you guys entertain us. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes you know what? It's nice to have content when we can't provide it. <laughs> yeah, or like actually connect with you, like. Like we've said before, you guys know so much about us. Yeah, we like to hear and about you. Yeah, at this point, I have had one. You two, guys have heard all of our stories. I have had several people come up to me in public or at weddings. <laughs> this past wedding, I had someone come up to me and go, Jerry? And I was like, oh, 
fuck, I forgot your name. I don't know. And then I realized I had never met her before. (laughs) (laughs) And then she only knew me because of the podcast. And it was wonderful. It was so cool. But it's it's jarring. It's disorienting because... Yeah, because you know, we I put all of ourselves out there, and I don't know who you are, who and you so are. this is our we way of know getting you. to know you. Yeah, getting to know you <laughs> and all your ghosties. Yeah, uh. Twix. <laughs> uh, okay. okay, that's that on your ghost story. Yes. All right. Um, happy spooky season, everyone. Yeah, we'll see you next week. All right, we're out. Goodbye. Bye.